Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I'm gonna show you some awesome country style strumming methods in drop D tuning. so on and so forth. Now, if you remember, I made a lesson years ago on advanced country rhythm. And I also made a lesson pretty recently with the beautiful black carbon fiber Journey Instruments guitar, if you remember, on adding solos to your rhythm guitar. Now, this lesson kind of mixes both techniques. So you need to tune the sixth string down to D. Okay, so you have a drop D tuning. And um, after you tune the sixth string down to D, what you need to do is to put on a D chord. And you're going to use your second finger, the one from the E string, you're gonna use it on three on strings D, A, and D, which are six, five, and four. Okay? Now, the country rhythm is still the same rhythm as I showed you in the original advanced country rhythm lesson. It's this. Okay, it's bass, down, up, bass. But when we add the soloing to it, it becomes sparse. It's just hinting at that rhythm. So you always have to keep in mind that this is the rhythm pattern. Okay, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up. So once you have that in the back of your mind, you can solo as much as you want and still keep the rhythm pattern going as long as you hint at it every now and then. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna... I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, in the acoustic soloing lesson, I showed you that the soloing usually comes on the upstroke when you add solos on high notes. So that means that the opposite is also true. You can add solos on the bass strings on the downstrokes. So what you get, let's start from something simple. Okay, three zero. You can do it on strings four, five, six. Okay, so tinker around with that first to get the feel of it. Okay, and then once you're used to this, just adding an extra note, try to hammer it on. Once you have that going, all the rest is just note choices. Now, you can also pull them off. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know. Now, once you know this technique, okay, the, the added soloing technique to the country rhythm, you can just add the second fret as well, okay, on the uh, D string, on the A string, and on the sixth string, which is now also D. Now, you want to bend the notes a little bit. Okay, now, when you put the second fret on, okay, you're gonna basically be changing the chords, okay? So don't linger on these notes too much, okay? The second fret is for passing tones, 
Okay, uh, the third fret is your target note, and you always go back to D. Okay, you can change you can change the chord into G if you want, but when you solo, like I showed you, the purpose of this lesson uh, is to show you how to toy around with the bass solos. So always aim for three and then D, no matter where the three is. Okay, it's always three and then D, the open D string. So when you play two, you can do two, three, zero, three, two, zero. Okay, hammer on, pull off on one string, three on the next string. Same goes for three. And you can do, okay, you can also change it. Instead of two and then three, you can do three and then two, okay, to get a different result. Now, you can do three, two, zero. You can do zero, two, three. So once you add all that together, you get this. Suddenly, what sounded really complicated at the beginning of this video makes total sense, right? Because it's still the same rhythm. Now, when I'm talking about hinting at the rhythm, what I mean is that you don't really need to play this all the time. You don't really need to play down up all the time. You can just play one of these notes. Okay? And even when you take the finger off the third string and you put it on two somewhere else, it still works. Okay? Because you still have a country line. So... basically all that's going on here and now that I broke it down for you it might take you a while to get used to but you'll see that it's really really a lot simpler than you thought it is um, when you just started watching this video uh, as long as you follow the steps that I showed you okay first three okay and then adding hammer-ons, pull-offs, okay, and then two, okay, and then trying two and three, okay, and both of them, okay, okay, so as long as you follow these steps and you just incorporate one step at a time into your playing, you'll be able to play this. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Have fun.